All right, well, we've just come off the Sky Tram, driven a few minutes west of Mount Vodna, and we've arrived at San Penta Limon. Uh, did I pronounce that right, Alex? Yeah, yeah. I got it right. Okay, not bad for a first-day Macedonian tour. Uh, but we stopped at this church for a very special reason. Now, of course, there are many churches throughout Europe, and uh, Macedonia is no exception. They're all over the place. But this church has something very special inside. Okay, with a little bit of paperwork, and you have to have an official permit to film in here, uh, so you can't just come in here and bring your camera, we're inside St. Panta Limon Church. And this church, the church itself, well, of course, there are many churches in uh, Macedonia and all over Europe, but this church houses a fresco behind me on the wall here. And what makes this fresco particularly important, especially for art historians, is the year it was painted, 1164 or thereafter, shortly thereafter when the church was built. And the reason that's important is because if we look at this painting, we see significant emotion. In fact, we see people crying over Christ. And that happened sometime around the early, mid 12th century. We know that is the official launch of the Renaissance because the Renaissance, of course, represents the, t the period when emotions were start to put into pictures, as in Giotto's picture of the Virgin Mary in Florence, 150 years after this painting was originally done on the wall here as a fresco outside of Skopje.